What are the chances that you're watching this video right now? That one small click, was it random or was it inevitable? Probability is everywhere. It governs coin tosses, weather forecasts, stock market trends, and even the way Netflix recommends your next show. But for something so common, it's surprisingly misunderstood. So let's go on a journey, not just through math, but through the strange and fascinating ways probability shapes the world around us. At its core, probability is simply the measure of how likely something is to happen. It lives between zero and one, where zero means impossible, and one means guaranteed. Toss a fair coin, and you've got a 0.5 probability of landing heads. Simple enough, right? But don't be fooled. This seemingly innocent branch of mathematics holds puzzles that can break your brain. Think about this. You check the weather and see a 30% chance of rain. Most people think that means it will rain for 30% of the day. Wrong. In reality, it means there's a 30% chance it will rain at all in that area. Probability isn't just about numbers. It's about how we interpret them. And often we interpret them badly. Enter the gambler's fallacy. Let's say a roulette wheel lands on red five times in a row. You might feel that black is now due. But in reality, each spin is independent. The wheel has no memory. Yet our brains crave patterns, even when none exist. We try to predict randomness as if it owes us fairness. Spoiler alert, it doesn't. This brings us to one of the most mind-bending scenarios in probability, the Monty Hall problem. You're on a game show, three doors. Behind one is a car, behind the other two, goats. You pick a door. The host, who knows what's behind all the doors, opens one of the other two to reveal a goat. Now he offers you a choice, stick with your original pick or switch to the remaining door. Most people think it doesn't matter, but mathematically, switching gives you a two out of three chance of winning. It feels wrong, but it's absolutely right. And here's the catch. This kind of unintuitive truth shows up all over real life. Let's look at Bayes' theorem, another cornerstone of probability. Say you take a medical test for a rare disease. The test says you're positive. Should you panic? Well, that depends. How rare is the disease? How accurate is the test? Without considering the prior probability, the base rate, you might assume you're doomed. But Bayes' theorem gives us a tool to think clearly about new information. It's not just math, it's logic, it's detective work, it's the Sherlock Holmes of statistics. Of course, not all probability is about life or death decisions. Sometimes it's just about fun and games. From poker to blackjack, from dice to loot boxes and video games, chance plays a central role. But the more you understand the odds, the less you're being played. Game designers, casinos, and even mobile app developers know exactly how to manipulate probability to keep you hooked. So the question isn't if probability affects you, it's how much. And while we're talking about games, did you know that the entire field of probability started with a gambling problem? Back in the 1600s, a French nobleman asked mathematician Blaise Pascal for help solving a betting dilemma. That conversation gave birth to a brand new branch of mathematics. So in a strange twist, all this theory, Bayes, Monty Hall, weather apps, AI predictions, traces back to a simple desire, figuring out how to bet smarter. As we've seen, probability isn't just about numbers or dice. It's about how we understand uncertainty, how we make decisions, how we interpret risk, and how we live with not knowing. Sometimes it tells us the truth. Sometimes it reveals how wrong our intuition can be. And sometimes it just reminds us that the world is far less predictable than we think. But probability doesn't just live in casinos or classrooms. It's the hidden engine behind some of the most powerful technologies on Earth, especially artificial intelligence. Every time your phone recognizes your voice or an A, I writes a sentence, or a self-driving car decides when to brake, it's all based on probabilistic models. Machines don't think in certainties, they think in likelihoods. There's an 87% chance this is a stop sign. There's a 63% chance you meant this word. 
The smarter the machine, the better it is at guessing correctly, not knowing absolutely. And this ability to guess well has found its way into surprising places, like the justice system. Yes, really. In some regions, algorithms are used to predict whether someone is likely to re-offend, helping judges make decisions about bail or parole. The problem? These predictions are based on statistical patterns, not the individual in front of the judge. Critics argue that this turns probability into a kind of digital prejudice. After all, can a number really predict human behavior fairly? This question takes us to the heart of what makes probability so powerful and so dangerous. It can help us make better decisions, but only if we use it wisely. Misused, it can lead to flawed conclusions, misplaced trust, and even injustice. But there's another side to probability, one that's deeply human, because behind every data point is uncertainty, and uncertainty is something we all live with. Should I take this job? Should I move to a new city? Should I say yes to this relationship? These decisions don't come with exact percentages, but they're still bets. Calculated risks. Probability, in the end, teaches us to live with doubt, to think in terms of likelihoods, and to embrace not having all the answers. Even the most fundamental scientific discoveries rely on it. In quantum mechanics, probability isn't just a tool, it's a law of nature. Particles don't have fixed positions. They exist in a haze of probabilities until they're observed. Reality itself, at the tiniest level, is uncertain. So whether we're tossing a coin, diagnosing a patient, programming an AI, or staring into the night sky asking, what are the odds we're alone? Probability is always there, quietly guiding our choices, modeling our world, and humbling our overconfident minds. Probability, for all its modern uses, has surprisingly ancient roots. Long before Pascal and Fermat exchanged letters about gambling, humans were already trying to make sense of chance. Ancient civilizations used dice made from bones, not just for games, but to communicate with the gods. Back then, randomness wasn't just uncertainty, it was divine mystery. But something changed during the Enlightenment. Mathematicians began to see chance not as chaos, but as something that could be measured, modeled, even predicted. This shift transformed probability into a science. From Blaise Pascal's triangle to Carl Friedrich Gauss's bell curve, probability became a lens through which we could understand the behavior of everything, from gases to economies. And then came entropy. In the 19th century, scientists studying heat and thermodynamics discovered that disorder in the universe tends to increase. This disorder, called entropy, is deeply tied to probability. Why does milk spread out in coffee but never unmix? Why does your room get messy over time, not cleaner? It's not just laziness, it's physics. Out of all the possible arrangements of particles, disorder is simply the most probable. So even the arrow of time, the very reason we remember the past but not the future, is governed by probabilistic laws. In a way, probability is the quiet architect of reality. It doesn't just help us understand uncertainty, it defines how the universe unfolds. It tells us why stars burn, why we age, and why perfect order is so rare. Yet, despite its deep role in science, probability also belongs to philosophy. What does it mean to say something is likely? Is chance something real in the universe, or just a reflection of our ignorance? Thinkers like David Hume, Karl Popper, and Nassim Taleb have all wrestled with these questions. Some argue that probability is just a placeholder for what we don't yet understand. Others believe it's the very structure of how the universe operates. And still, probability keeps surprising us. In quantum physics, a particle can be in multiple states at once, each with a different probability, until it is measured. This isn't just theory, it's experimentally confirmed. Reality, it seems, is a game of chance played on a cosmic scale. So from rolling dice to modeling pandemics, from predicting the stock market to understanding the expansion of the universe, probability isn't just a tool, it's a language. A language that describes not just what is, but what could be. It teaches us something profound, 
that certainty is rare, risk is unavoidable, and everything, everything, is a matter of chance. So the next time you hear someone say, it's just a matter of luck, smile. Because now you know the truth. Luck isn't random. It's a probability waiting to be understood. From the smallest atom to the biggest decisions in your life, probability is whispering in the background, guiding, nudging, reminding us that certainty is the exception, not the rule. And maybe that's not a flaw. Maybe that's the beauty of it all. After all, if everything were predictable, where would the adventure be? Thanks for watching. And remember, the odds of understanding the universe may be slim, but the chance of learning something today just went way up. <laughs>